Hi there, my name is Henry Uyeme. I am the founder and CEO of a tech startup called Intrida. Um, joining me here today is Dr. Amy Bird. Uh, and Amy Bird has kindly agreed to give this interview uh, as part of our program within the Entrepreneurship and Chemical Engineering. So, welcome to the program, Amy. Thank you, Henry. Uh, Amy, could you please tell us a little more about your entrepreneurship journey uh, from when you completed your PhD all the way to being an R&D engineer? Sure. So my name is Amy Beard and I'm a chemical engineer and I work at a startup called Helicon Chemical Company. Um, and this is the third startup I've worked with over the course of my career, ranging from a web startup um, and to, into two chemical startups focused on research and scaling up um, technologies. And in terms of my transition, it's been a really interesting time. Um, I think that chemical engineering prepares you uniquely for some of the challenges that you have to solve in entrepreneurship um, and just solving open-ended problems, mm -hmm. um, learning information, analyzing information. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been a really key part of my entrepreneurial journey. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Um, Helicon Chemical is involved in the creation, developments, and creation of a cutting edge technology, essentially a rocket fuel optimized uh, product, I think. Can you tell us a little more about uh, your experiences working with the team to create this fantastic product? Sure. Um, it's been a really interesting process. It's a disruptive technology, so we're changing the status quo of rocket fuel. Yep. And uh, we have primarily been government funded since 2012. Um, and as you know, that's a pretty slow moving uh, process. Uh, but we've been able to leverage the government funding to really get the product developed um, to where it's ready to enter the commercial space now. Yep. Um, and it's been a it's been a really neat process to just um, you know scale and grow incrementally, but now we're hitting uh, you know a really a really large growth curve. Yeah, and if this has been within a, a large team or uh, a rather small team. So we have a pretty small team. We're about eight people right now, um, and that those folks range from business to engineering, chemistry, material science. Um, so really small team doing you know really big yeah. big work. Yeah. <laughs> um, if there's any one advice you can give to aspiring uh, chemical engineers out there, uh, what would it be? Well, I think uh, if you're a chemical engineer who's interested, particularly in entrepreneurship, the most important thing you can do is learn the business side. So you don't need to get an MBA, uh, yeah. you, you know, but. Of beginning to learn about finance and um, you know that side of the business so that you're more prepared to go into leadership um, in a company is really important. Oh, that's great. Dr. Amy Baird, it's been fantastic having you with me today. I really appreciate your time and thank you for this. Um, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for having me.